Kersema Ederle is the proud new owner of medical equipment which will benefit service members across Europe. Army Staff Sergeant Donald Martin takes us to the Vicenza Army Health Center to check out the new tools. It's not every day that medical professionals get to work with lasers. But for the dermatologists at the health clinic, it's about to become something they do quite often. The clinic received its first Cyton laser, which Army Lieutenant Colonel Craig Maddox says will be used to help soldiers who cannot shave. There's a condition called pseudofolliculitis barbae that can be very severe um, in patients where the hair begins to ingrow before it grows out, which causes scars, bleeding, papules, pustules, that sort of thing. So the only option they have is either be on a permanent profile, so they don't shave, or to um, use the laser hair removal, which now we have, so we can treat that. The laser, which can also be used to resurface scars and eliminate other common skin blotches, will not only benefit the people stationed at Vicenza, but also Italy-wide. I do go to both Camp Darby and Aviano to see patients as the only dermatologist around, and so there's a lot of patients that could get good use of this. They could travel. It's a treatment once a month, so it's not, not too much of a burden. Specialist Ted Gabbard, who is in the middle of a 12-phase treatment, prefers the new laser over others. I know at the previous station I was at, um, it was very painful to go through the procedures. Um, the procedure we went through today, it was outstanding. Um, there was almost no pain at all, um, which is a huge relief. The clinic will dedicate half of the day a few times each month to focus solely on laser hair removal for service members to use. Army Staff Sergeant Donald Martin, Vicenza, Italy. To make an appointment for laser hair removal or any other dermatology needs, contact your doctor to make an appointment. Thanks for watching and while you're here, be sure to watch our other videos and hit like and subscribe.